There it is, Lana. Position to, to hold. It's actually a resting position. 
Scorpius seems a bit like that morale for the time. Now the reason why it is so comfortable is because the way Venus head is now, it takes the weight off his shoulders. But there's also another advantage. It lets Ben know what's going on behind him. And that can be a big advantage when Barney's coming up behind him and he's in a bad mood. It's a good defensive posture. That's good, Ben. Now, first fields all had two layers of fur, and to really maintain those two layers of fur, they had three claws on each back flipper. Now, those claws look a lot like those of the dog, so they use them in a similar way. Ben, show everybody your claws. That's good. Now, the light brown fur you can see around Ben's neck is his second layer of fur, and that's so thick that when he goes into the water, the cold water doesn't reach his skin at all. So they're very well insulated against the cold. But they're also extremely good at climbing, as Ben's about to show you. That's good, Ben. Very agile on land, aren't you? Yeah. You can stay there and have a rest. Now, one of the questions that a lot of people ask us at the zoo is how long can the first seals stay out of the waterfall? Well, they can actually stay out for weeks at a time, and during the breeding season, that's exactly what the adult males do. They'll stay dry on land for sometimes up to six weeks while they maintain their breeding territory. Now, they usually don't eat anything at all for that period of time, but the one thing that does drive them back to the means it's very easy for them to overheat on a hot day. So, we'll get Barney to show you how he'd cool down in the water. You can do it, Barn. There he is. Now, what Barney's showing you now is known as sailing, and it's the way that a fur seal cools down in the water. Now, the breeze created over that extended flipper cools the blood down in the flipper, and that then cools the seal down. And they do have a very fine control over their blood supply. If Barney wanted to cool down a lot faster, he'd simply increase his circulation and pump more blood to that extended flipper, or instead of that, he might swim a bit quicker to the water, create more of a breeze over that flipper. That's the way Barney. But on a very hot day, one flipper might not be enough, and Barney might find it necessary to extend two flippers, just like that and pump more blood individually to each of those flippers, that will help him cool down a lot faster. Now, before Barney comes out of the water, Ben's going to show you another use for their flippers. Although they don't have any claws on their front flippers, they can still use them to maintain their fur. Now, not by scratching, as Benjamin showed you before, but by rubbing or massaging their fur. Ben, can you have a rub? Ben, he's frozen again. Ben, you've got to wake up. That's much better. Very good. That's the way Ben is on board. Feel good too, Barney? Now, you've all seen Ben up the ladder, and I'm sure you'd all like to see Barney go up that big ladder, so we'll get him up now. Come on, Barney. You can do it. So when he gets, Barney gets to the top, if you take a close look at him, he might remind you of another animal. Now, fur fields are very closely related to bears and dogs, and they have a lot of bear-like features, especially in their face and their tail. Now, if you're lucky, Barney might show you his short, chubby tail. There he goes. But you can all see his facial features, like his short, chubby neck, his small ears, and his big bear-like nose. But you'll also notice that Barney has very long whiskers. And those whiskers are very important to the fur seal, especially when they're catching fish. So Ben, can we see your whiskers? Do you want to put them up nice and tall? That's good, aren't they cute? Then using these long whiskers, fur seals can find fish that they can't even see. They can pick up on the vibrations of fish in the water, and that means that they can find fish in dark, deep or even murky water. They often rely on their whiskers and not their eyesight to find fish, so they rely on their whiskers for their livelihood. So as well as being very cute, they're also a big asset to the first seal, aren't they, Ben? They're very cute. But they're very bristly too, they feel a lot like a nylon broom. But combined with these very useful whiskers, a big teeth and a flexible spine. Now, is that nice and loud, Barn? Can you hear him? Can you smell his bad breath? Now this noise Barn is making is actually a threat. And it's the noise he makes before he bites somebody. Say it again, Barney. 
So we all think his bad breath would be enough to frighten anybody away. It really is very strong. Okay, thanks, son. But you would expect that because Barney eats six and a half kilos of fish every day, and on a very hot day, it's enough to knock you out. So, well, what are you going to do about it? You going to call him back for me? That's a good idea. Everybody call him nice and loud. Much better. That's the way, Barney. Now, this takes a lot of concentration for Barney, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Yeah. 